You watching the bread? Just to the bread, yeah. Get a subscriber tell. Just to the bread. Just to the bread. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, girl, hurry up. We don't got time for all that. Wait. Okay. As you guys can see, I'm in a new background. Um. Make some noise, y'all. What the fuck? I did tell you guys that I will be moving again very soon. So it's really not like no big reveal, which is why I didn't do it. Uh, an apartment tour and a room tour and all that stuff because what's the point you know what i'm saying are you guys feeling the red oh just to give y'all some tea this is not installed like this is not this is not in my hair like this is not in my head i literally like try to do my hair like my my curly routine or whatever my real hair and um you know those days where your hair is just like not cooperating with you it was one of those days so i was like you know what i was crying and everything like you know when you get so frustrated with your hair you start crying it was real girl like it was one of those so i was like what am i gonna do so i just like put my hair in a little bun and i got out one of my wigs and i put i put it on, I, girl can you talk i put it on my head and i just put this beanie over it y'all want a jump scare <laughs> y'all know i'm gonna keep it real with y'all i'm not ever gonna fake nothing with y'all i don't know how to do no install babe I don't know how to do no install before y'all like, oh, YouTube it. Um, I learned on YouTube. I'm not a YouTube university girly. I cannot learn how to do nothing from watching YouTube videos. It doesn't help me. So I'm going to get this professionally installed soon. And I'm going to let y'all know where the hair is from and all of that. But um, yeah, welcome back to my channel. This is a story time. If I'm not talking as loud, um, let me know if y'all would rather me talk loud how I do in my normal videos. But right now, my niece is here and it's late so i'm not gonna just be screaming at the camera or anything like that also let me know if y'all think i should get a face dermal i'm probably gonna get it before y'all see the next video because i want it um but yeah i got this little gem from the beauty supply store just to see if i would like it and i i think i'm liking it so um yeah um this story time is going to be probably all over the place too because i feel like just doing it completely off the dome like not even thinking about it like i like to organize my stuff even when i vlog y'all when i know what i'm doing for the day i'll put it in my notes like what i'm gonna do you know sometimes it ain't always just go with the flow you get what i'm saying but this one is gonna be completely go with the flow like i'm a person who says like a lot i'm a person that be like um and be thinking a lot and that's why i try to get my story times like together so that it's not a lot of that and i don't have to cut so much because i don't like editing but this story time, I'm just going to speak to y'all because I feel like y'all don't care how 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 put together a video is for me. I really don't think y'all care. So this story time is going to be the time, um, the story time of Marshall. Was it Marshall or Marshalls? I think it was Marshalls or Marshall. Damn, did I call her Marshall or Marshalls? Okay, well, I just decided that it would be the best thing to do to make a story time about Marshalls the next time I made a story time after the last one I just did, which you guys know was about Snarky, which is my fallout with my best friend of 10 years plus or whatever. Um, and I thought like what better way to come into the next story time than to talk about Marshalls because she was in that story time. So that's what this is. I met Marshalls y'all in, I'm gonna say, cause I met Snarky. This isn't about Snarky, but Snarky is gonna be included in this video just because it was a trio. It did start off as a trio. I met Marshalls in... I knew Marshalls before I knew Snarky. Um, but they didn't meet each other until after me and Snarky met each other, if that makes sense. Like, me and Marshalls were already friends. And then when I became friends with Snarky, it was like an individual... It was like separate friendships. And then we all... Like, they met and then they became close and then we all became a trio, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna lie, like... My middle school and high school life is very different than what you guys would expect. I did tell y'all, like, if you're an OG, then you know that I wasn't well-liked when I was in school. And I'm not going to just kick it like, oh, it's just because I'm pretty. Like, you didn't like me. Like, it's just like, let's really wake that up. Like, you didn't like me because I was cute. No. Some didn't like me because I was cute. Because, you know, there's always going to be a miserable bitch, like, no matter what. But a lot of them didn't like me because my BPD, y'all, when I was upcoming like when i was real real young i had a lot of strange ways about me like 
I definitely want it to be liked, you know, by some people. Some people I just like, I don't know, like I just was, I was finding myself, okay? And a lot of people just didn't like me and that's okay. And then some people I had an attitude with, I had, you know, um, I wasn't very nice to, I'ma just be real. Like I was mean, I was mean to some people because, um, I was angry at the world, babe. Like, I don't know how to explain it to y'all. To be honest, me saying like, oh, my BPD, that's really not an excuse. Like, oh, it's okay because I have BPD. That's not what I'm saying. So nobody try to clock me in the comments, but I'm just saying that's like, that's a reason. A lot of people didn't like me. And there were they, there were times where me and Snarky, like I told y'all in the last video, we would act, we were messy with people. You know what I'm saying? In middle school, high school, sometimes you can be a little messy. Some of y'all are messy now. And some of y'all are out of high school. So not too much on me. Marshalls, y'all. Okay, how do I say this? How do I how do I talk about this without sounding like I don't want y'all to be like Girl, you're just talking you're just saying that about her because I don't want y'all to be like, oh you're just saying that about her because y'all aren't friends anymore. I wish I could put a picture of her on the screen like y'all ever met somebody who was ugly on the inside and Okay, Tessa let me let me recollect let's just say marshall's i didn't care because i'm not the type of person i wasn't and i'm still not the type of person to want to be friends with somebody just because they're pretty and y'all know like that's a thing girls will literally be like girl you're so pretty be my friend not like oh you're so pretty and i like your videos or girl you're so pretty and you're in my area you seem fun like let's hang out like to me that's not weird let's let's be let's be honest i've done that before on tiktok you know what i'm saying sometimes it's hard as an adult i'm about to be 23 years old sometimes it's hard to make friends in real life especially when you're not going to college when you're not working like a regular like in-person job like being a content creator is hard to make friends and so when you see other content creators or you see other people in your area on the internet you might be like oh I like to eat too. Let's eat together. Like, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But there are some girls that have DM me and been like, oh my God, girl, you're so pretty. Like, we're both pretty. Let's be friends. And to me, that's weird. Because it's like, how do you know that I'm not a weirdo? How do you know that there is substance about me? Like, what makes you want to be my friend other than that I'm pretty? Like, are you trying to shoot your shot at me? Are you trying to, are you trying to be my friend? Or are you trying to do arts and crafts? If you get what I'm saying. Come on. Marshall, she was like someone you could sit on your porch for Halloween and her attitude did not match she was not a nice she wasn't like a mean girl in the same way of like like what you would expect like she wasn't like being mean to people in their face she was just like one of those girls who would talk really down on people make fun of disabilities things like that like she was not that that type of person but what i will give to her is she was super 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 funny um and i'm pretty sure i met her in like um i would say either iss or like after school me and marshall's became really close really quick y'all and it got to the point where like we were hanging out every day after school like i was going to her house and her mom was one of those moms that really didn't like care what she did i'm gonna be real like i liked her mom she was nice like i don't know how marshall's turned out the way that she did because her mom was like a sweetheart unless she was like fake because you know some moms like like my mama she'd be nice to everybody in their face but like when she be talking to me ciao anyway the point in the friendship where i would confide in her about things that was going on like at home not anything crazy like i wasn't going through any type of like trauma at home or nothing but like you know if i got into it with my mom or my brother or my brother's girl or just if i was getting into it at home or like going through anything or just struggling with a boy anything i was talking to marshall's about it and marshall's was definitely telling my business to the school like she was talking about me like people would be spreading around like information that i only would tell marshall's and then when i would ask her like oh girl um did you say so and so because somebody like knows about it and i only told you and she would be like no and y'all one thing about marshall's is she was a pathological liar like y'all y'all ever met someone that just lie about stuff for no reason she swore that her mom like had worked for a celebrity i'm not gonna say what celebrity but she was like my mom works for him and my mom, uh, they know each other and they're real close. And I remember one time I had asked Marshall's mom, like, oh, like, Marshall's told me that you used to work for so-and-so. Let's say it's Chris Brown. It ain't Chris Brown. It ain't Breezy. But let's say it's Breezy. I'm like, oh, like, Marshall's told me that you work for Breezy. And Marshall's mom was like, what? I don't, I didn't, I never worked for Breezy. I love Breezy. 
I love him. Like, I met him before, but I ain't never worked for him. Like, I don't know him. And, like, I would just be like, oh. <laughs> Okay. You're a liar and that's weird, but I'm not gonna say nothing to you about it. Girl, I don't give a fuck if your mama no breezy or not. Anything you can think of that like a fake friend would do, Marshalls has done it. Talked about me behind my back, tried to talk to a boy that I liked, um, would get in my crush's face and talk, like make, try to embarrass me and be a pick me girl. Like all of that is Marshalls. But there's like a few certain situations. Honestly, this video might not be that long, I just want to get like Marshalls out of the way because Marshalls and Snarky are to me a package deal and I just want to get them out of the way on this channel. Talk about that and like don't talk about it again. I was not talked to this girl. I was not fake to this girl. I was not, I did not treat her poorly in any way. Like this was a type of friend where I would have to gauge like how I said in the last story time. I would have to gauge if she's even my friend one day. One day she would act like she's my friend. The next day she would act like she's not. She would be like cold to me one day and then the next day she would make a lot of jokes with me and be all kiki in my face. And it was really confusing for me and it was like, she started making me feel like we were in a relationship and on top of that, it didn't make it better that she, I won't say that she had a crush on me. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna toot my own horn and be like, oh, she had a crush on me. But she definitely tried to do things with me like multiple times on multiple occasions like you know those friends that oh like I kiss my friends sometimes or we we drink and then we kiss like it wasn't one of those situations she would be we weren't drinking we were in we were in middle school and high school babe like <laughs> well I mean some people drink in middle school and high school but like she would try to 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 do things further than that with me and I'll be like girl mm -mm -mm. maybe if she didn't look like a troll I would have been like, all right, but cause y'all know that I, I, there's fruit in my in my basket, there's sugar in my tank, but it wasn't. In it, it was no no sugar in that tank for her, bitch. It was all salt. So she was like, it was becoming like a toxic friendship before I even knew what a toxic friendship was. Like, the bitch didn't like me 90% of the damn time. Let's just say that. And when we became a trio with Snarky, they would hang out a lot without me, and they would do things like. Which I didn't care sometimes because if Mar if Marshalls wasn't able to hang out and me and Snarky were free, me and Snarky would hang out. We would just, of course, invite her. And if she couldn't, it's not like we wouldn't hang out anymore. It would just be like, oh, dang, girl, like, okay, um, next weekend we'll all do something. Like, I'm not finna tell y'all y'all can't hang out with each other just because I can't go outside. But it wasn't ever a situation where I couldn't go outside. Like... I already told y'all my mom really didn't discipline me in that way like she didn't really ground me like if I did something I might not be able to go to the party that's this weekend but like me and her would get into it me and my mom would go back and forth but she wouldn't ground me you know what I'm saying so they would literally hang out with each other when I was free to hang out and not every time I'm not saying every time they hang out it has to be with me but it would be like I would be like, hey, y'all, what y'all doing this weekend? Y'all want to, like, come over? Or, like, what are we doing this weekend? And they would lie. And they would be like, oh, Marshalls would be like, oh, I got to do something with my mom. And I was like, okay, like, Snarky, what you doing? And Snarky would be like, oh, like, I got, I'm got, I'm in trouble. Like, I can't hang out with nobody. Like, I, I can't do nothing. Let's do something ne next weekend. And then they would be on Snapchat having a sleepover. They would be on Snapchat going, uh, like a thief in the night. I take anything but some, she got the hell I got that. She got a head that I like. Like, they would be be over here doing, grabbing on a Tully. Like, what are y'all doing? Don't drop that dun -da -da. Red nose. Y'all shaking it like a red nose without me. What are y'all doing? I want a yike. Y'all remember yiking? Let me stop. But yeah, so they would be hanging out without me and they would be like starting to make me feel isolated, starting to make me feel like that background friend that I told y'all I've been. I've been a background friend since Toddlers and Tierras. The f since Divas and Diapers. I've been the background. I've been the background friend. Like, please. So they started doing that, and then I told in the last story time. If y'all haven't watched last story time, go watch that because that one's real, real, real tea. But there was a situation where Snarky and I. Well, no, no, no. Me and Marshalls had fallen out because, like I said, she was fake. So we like would be on and off friends a lot like we would get into it we would be beefing it's not like we would be beefing on the net or like we would be posting about each other it wasn't really nothing like that it was more so like we got into it i was mad at her i'm not talking to you you're not talking to me i'm not talking to you and we would be at school walking past each other not talking little petty stuff like that and it was one of those situations and i thought okay i thought that it was one of those situations where we were going to be back cool because it was some fake bs like oh you was talking about me like 
it was always me telling her she's talking about me because she she would be talking about me i would purposely tell her different scenarios of my business or like a different version of my business than i told my other friends and that that version would get out like i seen a meme that said that and i was like that's crazy i used to do that like i literally would tell her like a little different than I would tell other people and then when it would get repeated back to me I would know that it was her so it's like girl don't play with me right now so and not to mention um when we got to high school y'all know my biggest op koala there's a story time about that way down in my story times but um me and her were into it because she was doing fake stuff to me too she was being a weird friend and Marshall's became cool with koala while me and Marshall's was cool how you gonna be friends with my op if you like i am not the type of girl who's like oh if the, my friend has an op but she didn't do nothing to me so no baby if my friend don't like you i don't like you and if it's i told y'all before i it's not like it's not like that in every situation like if you just don't like her because she's not your cup of tea or you don't like her because you don't like the way her you don't like the way her eyebrow go up versus her other one or you don't like the way that she do her lip liner or you don't like how her you don't like her personality because you think she annoying as but she didn't do anything to you then i might be cool with that person because you know she didn't do nothing to you like there's no beef there but if my friend got beef got real beef like there's real tea between them baby i'm not gonna be that girlfriend your friends is not gonna be friends with your ops i'm sorry i'm sorry argue with your mom and not me because no so there was a situation where we had ended up falling out and I wasn't really talking to her and we had a group chat and when we weren't talking, I wasn't talking in the group chat. Like, I'm not going to lie, me and Marshalls would not be talking in the group chat, but the group chat remained. You know what I mean? Like, we kept the group chat there because we always knew we were going to be back friends. So, it wasn't nothing. Um, so, I got it wrong last time. I think I said something like, oh, it was a group chat that they put in with this other girl that we were mutually friends with that I named Lexi, her and Snarky. And it wasn't a group chat. It was, they were all hanging out together without me. Like the fake just that they is. And they were just all typing from, I think it was Marshall's um, kick or whatever. This was kick era. So it wasn't a group chat. We did have a group chat, but it wasn't in a group chat. So um, me and Marshall's got to arguing over the kick, like over kick or whatever. And I didn't know she was hanging out with them because I was talking to Snarky like normal and Snarky didn't say nothing about being with them and me and Lexi talked but like we didn't talk like as much like it wasn't we weren't really a friend group it was just like we were also friends with her she had her own friend group you know what I mean so it's not like I was gonna be like oh where y'all at no but me and Marshalls were arguing over text or whatever on kick and all of a sudden they all start like jumping on me from the same kick account like Marshalls is talking about um there's a girl that I have at the skating rink that I met that I had a crush on or whatever, but I wasn't open about it. Like nobody knew that I liked girls and I didn't even know for real what I liked. Um, and they were like, oh, I'm gonna tell everybody that you like girls. And they was just going in and Snarky started texting from her and Lexi started texting from her and they all started like trying to fake bully me and send emojis saying that I look like this emoji and I look like that emoji whole time. Bitch, you did not eat that. Like the plate is full. The plate is full. You're starving. What the fuck? Like, I can't believe, like, it did hurt, it did hurt my feelings because they were my friends. I'm not gonna, like, kick it to y'all like, oh, I didn't care. Like, my feelings was hurt. I definitely wanted to fight, but I didn't want to fight all, all of them. Because like I said in the last story time, one of them could have knocked me down like a, like a bowling pin. For real. After they like started trying to fake bully me, I had I had ended up falling out with all of them. I ended up being back cool with Marshalls and Snarky. So this is really picking up where we left off from the last story time. Um, it took on from there. Me and Marshalls ended up falling out, but I never told y'all why. So we're gonna get into why. I would hang out with her regardless of like the bullshit that was going on. Like whenever we became back cool, it was basically like we never stopped being cool in the first place. I would say when I was in ninth grade, sometime in ninth grade, and y'all probably like, damn, how many story times about a dude have you said in ninth grade? Hey, baby. Your girl was dating, okay? Your girl was dipping her feet in the pool. Don't play with me. I wasn't I wasn't doing nothing with none of these boys, but y'all already know me. Like if y'all are new here, if you're new here, I used to I've talked to a lot of boys, okay? I didn't do nothing with with none of them, but I was talking to a lot of boys, so what can I say? I can I, it's good that I did so I can give y'all tea. Y'all have experience, okay? Y'all know I live in Atlanta. I went to school in the Atlanta area, not in Atlanta. Um 
and Marshall's family was from she's from like the hood but like the country hood I'm not gonna say what city that her family's from because that's weird but it's a place that I ain't never been before and it's a it's a place that's pretty far or whatever and she was like telling me oh um I want to have a I want to I'm going for the weekend or whatever with my mama to let's just say that it is Macon. Macon is not I don't I don't Macon is just a regular place in Georgia. But we're just going to say Macon for the sake of me not wanting to say you know actually locations. I'm not doing that. So she's like, "Oh, um I want to go with my mama for the weekend. I think it was more than a weekend. I think it was like on a break, on some break that we were on." And she was like, "I'm going to Macon and um, to see my cousins and my brother and stuff like that and like do you want to come with me and my mom didn't really let me like go on trips with families and stuff like that but since it was in Georgia my mom didn't really care so I was like yeah girl like where are we going or whatever like what how is it over there and she's like girl we went to the bricks like we're going to the hood for real we're going to the ghetto like she's like talking about like we're going to the project projects like the project buildings so I'm like okay like y'all back then I used to wear a red bandana around my head. I used to do the little challenge. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Can I say that on here? Y'all know that challenge that's like, with your fingers. Y'all know the, the little signs? I don't, I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but I don't want to get demonetized. So, y'all, I was in my hood girl era. I was not from the hood at all. Suburban girl. I mean, I've been in Atlanta and stuff like that. So, like, I've been around the hood dudes. I love a good hood jam, but I'm not a hood girl at all. But I can really like get down anywhere. So I was like, oh yes, girl, I'm finna I'm finna bag me a hood, dude. I'm finna I'm finna be a trap queen. Like, let's do it. She's like, okay, um, my cousins over there, they're like around our age. Um, one of them he drives or whatever, he's like 17. And mind you, I, this might have been eighth or ninth grade, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This might have been eighth or ninth grade. Because I know that me and her were not friends and like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It was either in 8th or ninth grade. Because that's around the time that we had to stop being friends, right? I think so. Fast forward, we end up going to Macon. And I end up meeting, like, her family that stays out there. And, y'all, we're in the, the bricks for real. Like, they were brick buildings. And I'm not judging if you live in the projects. Like, it was nice. No, it wasn't. Let me not lie. It wasn't nice. But you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the last apartment that I lived in. But I just have never been in an environment like that. The environment is what it was like. That I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm in danger. Literally, I remember like the police were coming by, going down the street or whatever. And everybody that was just outside, like a lot of people were just standing outside, like chopping it up with other people or like just doing stuff. And the police was going by and everybody went inside. And like Marshall was like, oh, we're going to go inside because like the police is coming by. I was like, is everybody breaking the law? Like, what? Why is we all going inside? But I had fun. Like, we were playing basketball out there, and it was a lot of boys. It was a lot of boys in that neighborhood. And I was just like, I was taking my pick for real, y'all. I was like, <laughs> but to be honest, y'all, I, was, I really wasn't cute. So none of them really wanted me. Let's be for real. Fast forward, um, we're in the house that we're going to be staying in or whatever, like spending the night in. And it's, y'all, it's, she got like five male cousins in that bitch. She got like six female cousins in that her auntie and it's literally like three rooms so she tells me she tells me like oh we're gonna sleep in the living room on the floor and I'm like okay like y'all y'all are probably like why why would you want to be in that situation but baby I can still sleep on the floor make me a little pallet a little one too and I can go to sleep I am never no you're not gonna do that you're not gonna do that I really can sleep anywhere for real. I'm not a bougie person, y'all. I've never been a bougie person. I literally was just happy to be there. Like, I was just happy to be with my friend. So, she ends up introducing me to her cousin and we're gonna call him... Jail. I'm just gonna call him Jail because that's where he belongs. And not even just for the situation with me. He, he just needs to go to jail in general. He was doing so much that he could be put in jail for. So we're gonna name him... Jail. She ends up introducing me to her cousin, Jail, and she's like, oh, this is my cousin. He, I think she told me he was 17 and I was like 14 or 15. So that was already a red flag, but I was under the impression he was still in the teens. You know what I mean? I was under the impression he was still close enough to our age. So she's like, oh, um, and he apparently lived there or whatever, right? And he had a car, like he drove or whatever. And I was like, okay, like, hey, Jail. Like he was cute to me. 
now that I think about it, he was not cute, but he was cute to me in the moment. Like I was really just t trying to take anything I could get. You know what I'm saying? And this is a situation where I could have been, I could have been put in some real danger for real. Like just being there in general with all them boys that I didn't know, like, and being young and we didn't really have much supervision. There were adults there. We're going to get into that, but there were like obvious adults there and they didn't really like care what we were doing like they were just like there you know what i mean like we were just on our phones making videos luckily i have decorum and i am not a swoop <laughs> so me being there like i can be around a bunch of niggas and not do anything because i have self-control and i don't do that you know what i'm saying like if you don't do that then it don't matter where you are or who you around you're not going to do that in any circumstance or any environment, right? So it didn't matter that I had the area and opportunity to do anything I wanted to do. I already really had the area and opportunity to do anything at home because my mom was lenient. Like she trusted me and didn't really, she wasn't really a strict parent. So if I wanted to do stuff, I could have, but that's just not how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? So we were there and I was really just having a, a good time. Like I was happy to be, I was in ATL, but I felt like I was in the movie. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I was in the movie. Me and Jail get to talking, and this is really a, like a two-in-one story time. This is like a story time about Jail and a story time about Marshalls because it's because of her that I was dealing with this situation with Jail. So Jail and I are talking or whatever, and me and Marshalls end up getting like separated for real because she, there's other, like her cousins, I don't know if she was flirting with her cousins or if her cousins had friends that came over and she was just doing her own thing. I'm like, hey, Jill, like, what, you, what do you be doing? You know, like, I I live over there in the suburbs with your cousin, me and Marshalls. You know, we just, we don't really be doing nothing for real. Like, what you be doing out here? Like, what you be selling? Like, he's like, oh, you know, like, I just do a little song song here and there. Like, I'm raising him up for real. I'm like, okay, like, you ever, you ever fuck with a suburban girl before? <laughs> like, girl, just doing the most. We get to flirting or whatever. And I already had, like, Marshalls had already told me, like, she could put me on with this this jail character like i already knew of him before and like i already had like his um snapchat or whatever like it wasn't like this was the first time we were like seeing each other face or whatever i saw him in person for the first time at this moment but like i already knew of jail i already you know my eyes were already on him you know so we end up caking fast y'all i'm not gonna lie like we're caked up caked up as in like cuddling like on the floor or it was on the couch at first and then like on the floor in the living room um he was calling me bae like it was like that real fast i don't know if that's hood love or if he's just a hoe like i don't know but we were like caking and like he was telling me like he wants to talk to me for real like even though i live in you know more metro atlanta area and he's out here um he could still you know make that trip and the area macon macon was like a good hour away i would say it wasn't like crazy crazy far but it was far especially for me to have not been driving yet marshall's has her little her little thing like it was like a two-man for real but only the one man did what the two-man was supposed to do you know what i'm saying because ain't no man getting that out of me on no two-man period I know that's right. <laughs> I remember waking up like at 6 a.m. Like we we stayed up until like 5 a.m. It was starting like to get light outside and stuff. And then he was like, oh, I got to go. Like he was like, he's finna go to work. He never like directly told me what he did. But I just assumed that like what else could it be? You get what I'm saying? So he was like, he was up bright and early y'all. Like I'm in my head like, oh, he's a working man. Like he really get into that bag. Girl. <laughs> so he ends up going wherever he goes and I end up going back to sleep and then I get back with Marshalls and she's telling me about her nights that went completely different than how my night went and um I'm just like okay cool so me and him end up continue talking or whatever and then like we end up like kissing like that's like the furthest that we went I swear y'all we kissed and that was it cuddling and kissing and like flirting I was I was scary and I thought that, you know, he's not too far from my age, so he's a little scary too because he really didn't try nothing with me. I'm not going to lie to y'all. He didn't try nothing with me. So I end up, like, keeping his number. Like, we end up texting, and this ends up being my little boo thing or whatever. Not for long, but he ends up being my little boo thing. So um, time goes by, and there's another weekend that Marshall's end up going over there again. And she's like, you want to come with me? And I'm like, girl, hey, yeah, I want to go with you. I want to see my man. So we end up going and 
I'm there and I don't see him. Like he's nowhere to be found. He is not around. None of that. Like he's not there. So I'm like, what? Cause he ended up texting me like um, a couple of days before that. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna be there. And we were texting up until that day. And I was like on some like, I can't wait to see you. Like he was telling me he's gonna take me on a date, all of that. So I'm like, okay, like he's gonna take me on a date. So we get there, like I said, nowhere to be found. And Marshall's family is there and y'all, this is when stuff gets real. So I'm like, okay, um, where's jail? And Marshall's is like, oh, like, I don't know. Like, she says it real fast. Like, she's like, oh, I don't know. And, like, she, like, does the subject or whatever. She changes the subject. And we continue, like, talking about other stuff. And the whole time, I'm blown because, yeah, you're my homegirl, but you knew, you knew why I was coming back here. You knew why I was coming back. I wanted to see jail. Where is he at? Is he in jail? So I'm there, and I'm like, girl. What's tea? So I pull her to the side and I'm like, Marshalls, where is jail at? Like, he was supposed to be here. You got your little dude that's here. So where's jail? And she's just like, oh, like, he couldn't come. Like, and I'm like, but she lives here. Fuck you mean? Fuck you mean he couldn't come? He couldn't come home? So I'm over here thinking that my baby done got locked up. Like, I'm over here like, open that cell, get my man out of jail. Like, what do you, where is he at? Turns out he don't live there, number one. And I, I'm going to tell you how I find that out, right? Me and Marshall's, like, continue our night there. And I don't see jail, like, for the rest of the night. Later on, I would say, like, a couple days later, I ended up getting a text from Marshall's mom. And she was like, hey, I just want to let you know that you're not allowed to come with us to um, Macon anymore. Um, I'm really disappointed in you and things like that. And I'm like, I'm confused because I'm, first of all, I'm not to be funny, but her, she did not know how her daughter got down. Like, her daughter... I'm gonna just say she didn't know what her daughter was getting into and if anybody should have got the text that that oh I'm disappointed in you it should have been her damn daughter it should have been her daughter not me so she's just like oh I just want to let you know like you can't come with us no more like I'm not gonna tell your mom but you can't come with us to make it no more so I'm t I text her back and I like I don't care what did you talk about so I was like I don't I'm sorry but I really don't know what you're talking about what did I do that you're disappointed in? And she was like, Apparently you, everybody's saying that you had did it with jail. I know you lying, bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, I did not do a B word ass thing with jail, but kiss him. So I don't know what you're talking about. She's just like, oh, well, jail said that y'all did it. And I don't know if she said jail said it. Or she said like someone said it. I don't know because I, I ended up texting jail, of course, and being like, nigga, did you say that I effed you? Like, I did not do nothing with you. Like, you know it. And he was like, no, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. And I'm, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I talked to him a little bit after this, which is good because this is how I ended up finding out what I found out. But she was just like, okay, like, um, I believe you because I've known you for this long or whatever. But everybody's saying that. And um, they, basically, they don't want you there no more. Like, the adults that you know live there don't want me there anymore they they ba they basically thought i was some little swoopty that marshall's brought over there that was getting down in their house even though marshall's was getting down in their house so i was like okay like i don't want to go over there no way like i'm like okay i'm like as long as you know that i didn't do anything i don't really care what them folks think because them folks are not my folks so i don't care and so i ended up um texting marshall's and i was like girl why didn't you didn't like vouch for me why you didn't speak to whoever was over there saying that i did something with um jail um you know i didn't do nothing with jail i told you what me and jail did like what's your problem like why why wouldn't you defend me and she was just like girl i don't know what you and jail did what do you mean like yeah, you wasn't you wasn't watching like you was doing your thing, so you probably thought I was I was doing my thing, but I, I wasn't doing my thug this old baby. I don't do that, and she knows that. That's the thing, she knows like her and Snarky. I forgot to tell y'all in the little group chat when they were trying to be funny to me, like before this before we like got back cool. They were like, you always saying you a virgin, and you know you not no virgin girl. You be lying like, and they were projecting because they both got down. They did not play. And I was honest with them. The only reason I was always like going back and forth with them being like, y'all keep saying that I'm lying about being a virgin. But like, 
every time y'all tell me about y'all stories i literally be asking y'all how do it feel i be asking y'all questions i be asking for tips for when i'm ready and i be telling y'all the only reason i ain't do it is because i'm scared to not because i feel like oh i'm too i'm too good to do it like i don't want to be a hoe no like doing it one time or doing it with somebody don't make you a hoe it, I, I wasn't avoiding doing it because i thought that i was avoiding doing it because i was scary and insecure about my body like what so she was just like oh like i don't know she was acting like back on that time and like oh i don't know what you be doing like you be saying you don't be doing nothing but i don't know i wasn't there watching you and i'm like girl where is this energy coming from like why is you acting like that so we had we had ended up like getting into it but we didn't fall out yet so <sighs> i end up getting another text from marshall's mom um like farther down the line i'll say like maybe two weeks later and i'm not gonna lie even though me and marshall's were into it i was still talking to jail like we were still texting and stuff i was the dummy that believed him when he said like he didn't say that that like um somebody was like saw that we were sleeping in the same area and thought that like you know we were doing stuff and it was just drama like that they're messy over there and like not to worry about it because he could still come see me type thing so i was like okay whatever so he ends up inviting me to like go to the movies like my mama ended up dropping me off at the dollar movie and he ended up pulling up to the dollar movie mind you he didn't pick me up or nothing like boy you got a car and you're not picking me up what's wrong with you so we're at the dollar movie or whatever and we're sitting and i start feeling uncomfortable this is where my spidey senses and my woman's intuition be coming in i feel like because i started feeling uneasy and uncomfortable even though i, I spent time with him before and i felt okay something in me felt like something was wrong like something was up it might have been because this was my first time being with him like not around other people and not around marshals and just by myself and i started to feel like something wasn't right and so I started texting Marshalls and me and her were like, we were cool, but we were just kind of into it. And I was like, I'm at the movies with, um, what's his name? I was, I'm at the movies with jail and I'm nervous girl. Like, I don't know, something don't feel right or whatever. Like, are you sure he's not like a weirdo? Like, I know he's your cousin, but is he like, is he not a weirdo? And she's like, no girl, he's not a weirdo. Like, stop saying that. Like, she gets mad at me for even asking if he's a weirdo or whatever. And then she stops texting me. So after the little movie day we didn't do nothing we didn't even kiss like it smelled like pee in that movie theater they closed that down now thankfully but it smelled like piss in that theater we end up like going home or whatever i have he left my mama picked me up and i get a text from marshall's mama again and she's just like um marshall's is telling me that you just went to the movies with jail i feel like it's very inappropriate and i feel like if you don't stop talking to him i'm gonna have to talk, like talk to your mother about it and i'm just like what is the big whoop like it's starting to annoy me now because first of all marshall's you put me on with this dude you put me on with him you invited me over there to see him you wanted me to like she was telling me to do stuff with him at that she was telling me to get down with him and do stuff but i wasn't doing it because that's not what i'm into and i told her we didn't so why is you even like on this time and telling your mama i went to the movies with him like what's the problem i don't understand so i'm like i tell her the truth like i'm like yeah i did go to the movies with him we've been talking we didn't do nothing i don't see what the problem is like why is everybody like making such a big deal out of me in jail and she's just like girl jail is 24 years old call the police we need to call the police i'm sorry what i'm sorry what i'm sorry what why was jail 24 years old with a baby mother and a kid? And when he left in the morning, that night that we had all spent the night at that place, at that house that was not his house, he was going home. To his family. And I was like 14 or 15 years old and he was 24. And Marshalls put me on with him. Her cousin that she knew was 24, that she didn't tell me. And he lied to me too about his damn age. Which is why everybody was tripping on thinking that we did something together because they thought I was trying to get him locked up. So I ended up telling Marshall's mama like, oh my God, I did not know he was 24. Marshall's is the one who told me to talk to him and like I, I snitched on her ass. I didn't give a f I was like, she told me he was 17. Like, like I did not know. And she was like, she just was like, oh, like, I don't know who's telling the truth, but I'm going to have to like, you know, side with my daughter. You cannot come over there anymore and I don't want you hanging out with Marshalls anymore. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I let her mama hear it. Like, I was like, I'm not going to lie to you. I always respect you, but your daughter's a hoe, basically. And I told her, like, yo, your daughter be the one that be getting down. I did not do that with that boy. And I ended up falling out with her, not even only because she didn't defend me when everybody was saying that I did something with this boy and everybody was looking at me like the little 
the little sleuth, the little floozy walking around trying to get a dude banned up, even though it would really be his fault and not mine because what? You're 24. You're about to be 30. You have a family. I can't even tell you go start a family and don't worry about me. You have one. But not only did she not defend me, she's the one who like put me on with this dude and let me sleep around him and be around him and talk to him knowing that he was grown as fuck. I don't know if she knew he had a baby mama. Like she was trying to get me kicked like we was in the ghetto. What if his baby mama would have pulled up and seen me? She would have probably dropped me. So after that situation, me and her ain't never been, been back cool. After that, I think she went to school in Macon after that. Like, I think she moved over there because she moved away from where we lived at. And me and her ain't never been cool again. And to this day, oh, I don't know about to this day. I'll say to like two years ago, she'd be acting like I am the reason we're not friends. She'd be acting like I did something to her. She'd be acting like I'm the fake friend because we've had conversations. Like, I've reached out to her since then and told her how I felt about the situation, told her I felt like betrayed and like wanted to know why she was like that type of friend to me because that's the vpd in me i'd be needing an answer i'd be needing a why for everything and she was like girl i don't i don't gotta explain nothing to you you're a weirdo like she was acting like i was the one who did something to her and like that situation with that boy that hurt me like that was like grounds for me really not being her friend because all that fake stuff talking about me with females all this petty girl drama all of those were valid reasons to not be your friend but you could have had me in a dangerous situation with this boy and like you knew he was grown and she knew I wasn't like that. Like, not even the age thing, just doing activities like that. And I wasn't. She knew I was scary. She knew I just was like, I like talking to boys, but she knew I wasn't like that. And I feel like that whole, her inviting me there, that whole thing, I felt like it was a setup, not gonna lie. Um, so we ain't never been back cool again after that. And y'all, this was the girl who put my first, she put my first tampy. I'm gonna call it a tampy. She put my first tampy in for me at the beach. Because we were at the beach and I got my cycle and I never used one before. And she was like, girl, you can go in the water. You can put on a little tampy. And she helped me put a tamp. Like, this was a girl that I used to call my sister. And she was like the, one of the worst friends that I ever had. Like, fake ass, fake ass girl. <laughs> That's the end of this story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be putting out way more story times in 2024, y'all. Not even just like the whole year, but like January. You guys can expect the video on the 1st. I promise I'd be saying that and I'd be... Things be coming up, y'all. I don't just be lying to y'all. I'm not I'm not a, a dream seller. I don't be selling dreams. I don't be trying to lie. But things be coming up. But I'm going to have the video pre-recorded and ready to upload on the 1st. It's not like I'm going to wait until the 31st and then film it. No. I'm going to have the video ready to go for the 1st and scheduled and ready and already uploaded. Just all, I gotta have, all I'm going to have to click on the 1st is to make the video live. So y'all can definitely look out for a video on the 1st. And y'all can probably look out for a little mukbang or just a different type of video before the first um for the end of this month thank you guys so much for watching this video i know this one probably isn't as juicy or animated with you know receipts and stuff like that but this is a story time i've been wanting to tell y'all just to get it out of the way just to end the chapter because marshall she's probably going to be included in some story times with other people because there's a lot of situations that happened that were more focused on another person that included her weird ass but yeah that's the end of this story time if you guys enjoy make sure you comment like and subscribe comment other videos that you guys want to see from me turn on the post notification bell so you never miss when i post a video follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below also um make sure you guys let me know what y'all like if y'all like this setup i could have done it like over there i wish i could sit right here and have my bed behind me like how i did in my first little setup but there's no room for me to put the chair right here so this is the best i can do for until february when i'm out of here let me know if y'all like it and if it looks good. And yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Bye.